Spreading fertilizer worth billions of euros every year is a great responsibility that requires a high level of innovation and precision. Traditionally, Bobella has been known for being a company setting new standards in spreading technology and accuracy. For example, in 1991, our engineers developed the first spreader in the world that could be connected to GPS. Today, this technology has never been more relevant, as many farmers demand fully automatic systems for headland control and variable rate application to improve accuracy, increase output and reduce waste. In this movie, one of the leading Danish agricultural newspapers is testing fully automatic headland and section control. We hope you enjoy the movie and see how easy it is. Welcome to Power Gear Preview. In this edition, we'll look at section control used on seed drills, planters, sprayers and also on fertilizer spreaders, which we will try today. When using a fertilizer spreader, the need for shutting off sections is important to achieve an accurate and optimized overlap in wedges and on headlands. Let's start by looking at the brand new system for section control in the Vario terminal from Fent. To run section control with the Fent Vario guide, you need auto steering. Once you have the system, you can control your seed drill, your sprayer, and in this case, the spreader that we're testing today. We'll start looking at the monitor to see how the basic settings are made. We're using an Isobus compatible bow ballast spreader. It means that the entire spreader control and operation is through the Vario terminal. But what we will particularly look at is section control, which is new in Fence Vario terminal. The section control is shown like a boom and divided up into equal sections, just like a sprayer. In the basic settings, we can see how much overlap we wish to achieve while driving in wedges. We can define if the seed drill or spreader shall shut on or off exactly when we enter the headland tram line, or as we've set here, when the spreader has 50% overlap. Let's take a look below. There's a difference between using a seed drill or a fertilizer spreader. Today we're focusing on the fertilizer spreader. When leaving the headland area, a typical spreader must start up 6 to 8 meters after we've left the reference line. In the same way, the right point for shutting off is 6 to 8 meters after we have entered the headland area. Here you can adjust this parameter. If it shuts off too early or too late, for instance 1 meter too late, we can key in the forward speed to make the system able to calculate where it's supposed to shut off next time. However, with the bow ballast spreader, this is not needed at all. The system automatically controls the optimum start and stop points. We therefore don't need to concentrate on this as no setting is required. Did you know that bow ballast was the inventor of the way cell technique for fertilizer spreaders? Today, this technology is widely accepted and valued by farmers worldwide who want to control their fertilizer usage. The technological advantages of the system are well known and it's the reason why many other manufacturers have tried to copy the original Danish design. But there's only one original. If you don't have a new Fent tractor, but instead have an older tractor, don't panic or despair. The Danish manufacturer Bobella has developed a clever solution. A tablet for controlling the section control on their spreader. This solution only requires a standard Android tablet and a small antenna on the cab roof. Of course, you also need the standard controller, 
Calibrator Zerf for the spreader. Simply download the app from Google Play and you're up and running. Let's try and see how the solution works. With a simple mount, you place the tablet in the tractor's front window. Open the app and you're ready to start a new field job. The field job is automatically named by giving it the actual date and time. If you wish, you can also key in the field name manually. Now tab OK. At the right side of the screen, we have all the usual functions with which we're familiar from the Calibrator Zerf, the usual monitor for the Bobala Way Cell Spreader. It means that we can operate the headland spreading function if, for example, we wish to spread to border, as we will do when we start the field. This is done simply by confirming with OK. Now the spread is ready for headland spreading. If we press input, we can check that the spread width is set to 24 meters, and we can also key in how many kilograms we wish to apply per hectare, exactly as we would have done on the normal calibrator zerf. Let's get started and see how the system works while driving in the field. Worldwide, there are more than 1 billion Android devices. This is one of the reasons why Bobala has chosen this operating system for running fully automatic section and headland control. spreading in the second last tram line. On the screen you can see that the last section is deactivated because the distance to the right side tram line is reduced with one section down to 21 meters. We're now heading towards the wedge. When we enter the wedge we'll see how the sections are shut off one by one from the right side. Simultaneously with the shutting off of the sections you can see how the shutter opening is reduced. We're now close to the wedge in the headland area and we can see how the sections are turning into red one by one. You don't need to do anything except driving the tractor. When we enter the headland tram line, the spreader shuts off automatically and we simply just turn and head towards the next tram line. While driving in the headland tram line, the system goes into the neutral position to be prepared for the next wedge. Here, the wedge shape is a mirror image. Therefore, the section control opens from the opposite side. The Bobala section control includes an intelligent speed monitoring called Tempo Tracker. The Tempo Tracker ensures that the spreader shutters are always opened and closed at the right place, no matter what the forward speed or application rate. Working under high speed or high rate conditions, the system automatically starts the opening or closing of the shutters a bit earlier, to ensure that the shutter position is in the right position when you enter or leave the headlands. Therefore, Tempo Tracker prevents over or under spreading at the headland. After having finished the work on the field, you tab Stop Job and Finish Job. Below it gives you the option to send a job report to an email address. If you tab on Create Report and Send as Email, the client will receive a report similar to this one. Here you can get an overview of the entire field, for example when the job was started and finished. You can see the planned and actual quantity applied, the area of the field spread and the working width. Such a report can be sent for each single field as documentary proof that the job has been completed in accordance with the client's instructions. Bobala's solution for tablet control is called Calibrator Free. Free meaning that Bobala has developed the solution themselves and independently of any tractor supplier. To run the system you need a tablet, an iZerf communication module and a small antenna on the tractor cab roof together with the spreader controller Calibrator Zerf. The antenna and the iZerf communication module make it possible to communicate with the spreader via the tablet and offer the possibility for running automatic section control without being forced into huge investments in GPS and with the flexibility to be used on any tractor. 
The system also offers a guidance function for driving precisely on ploughed soil with the help of straight or curved AB lines. So, if you have an older tractor, the solution for running section control via a tablet is simply brilliant.